Have you ever wondered why tigers have stripes? Today we embark on a captivating journey to uncover the mysteries of the tiger. Tigers renowned for their beauty and fearsome reputation are not just fascinating creatures, but are also a marvel of evolution. Their behavior and biology work in perfect harmony, enabling them to thrive in their natural habitat. A striking feature of the tiger is its iconic stripes. But they're not just for show. These stripes serve a crucial purpose in the tiger's survival, acting as the perfect camouflage, blending with the tall grasses and dense forest undergrowth. This coloration is an integral part of their hunting strategy, allowing them to stealthily approach their prey. Understanding the world of tigers, their behavior and their biology is not only fascinating but also crucial for their conservation. As we unravel the secrets of these magnificent creatures, we learn to appreciate their intricate lives and the importance of their existence in our ecosystem. Stay tuned as we delve into the fascinating world of tigers. Imagine the birth of a tiger cub, so small yet destined for greatness. The story of this majestic creature begins in the womb of a tigress, where a miracle of nature unfolds. Tigers, like most big cats, have a fascinating reproductive biology. The gestation period for a tiger is roughly three and a half months. That's about 103 to 106 days. It's a relatively short period considering the size and complexity of these magnificent beasts. When the time comes for the cubs to be born, the tigress seeks out a secluded den, often in dense vegetation or in a cave. Here, in the safety of her chosen sanctuary, she gives birth to her litter. Typically, a litter can range from one to six cubs, though two to four are more common. Each cub, when born, weighs just a little over two pounds, blind and helpless. But these tiny creatures are destined for greatness. Over the next few weeks, they undergo a rapid transformation. Their eyes open after about six to twelve days, introducing them to the world they're destined to rule. It's a challenging journey these early days. The cubs are wholly dependent on their mother for nourishment and protection. They begin to venture out of the den after about two months, learning to walk, to play, and to practice their predatory skills. By the time they reach six months, they're already formidable, their bodies growing stronger and more agile, their instincts honed. But they're still cubs, playful and curious, learning the ways of the wild from their mother, the best teacher they could have. A tiger cub's growth is a testament to the resilience and power of nature. It's a journey filled with trials and triumphs, from a helpless newborn to a majestic creature ready to claim its place in the wild. From a tiny cub, a majestic creature emerges. This is the story of the birth and growth of a tiger, a tale as compelling and awe-inspiring as the creature itself. Growing up in the wild is not a child's play, especially for a tiger cub. A young tiger's life is a constant dance between danger and discovery, teetering on the edge of survival. The smallest misstep could end in tragedy, but triumphs, however small, mark significant strides in the journey to adulthood. The early weeks of a cub's life are spent in the shelter of their den. Their world is small, confined and warm. Their mother, their guardian, their teacher, and their universe. She is their first and most important teacher, the one who introduces them to the vast, untamed wilderness that is their home. In their first year, these cubs endure a rigorous curriculum of survival. They learn the art of stealth, the craft of the ambush, and the thrill of the chase. Their playground is a classroom, their games lessons in survival. Every leap, every pounce, every playful wrestle is a rehearsal for the life or death hunts they will face in the future. While the cubs are eager to explore and learn, they are not alone in their journey. The mother tiger's vigilant eyes are always watching, her keen instincts always on alert. She teaches them not just how to hunt, but when to stand their ground and when to retreat. Her wisdom is their armor, her experience, their guide. By the time they reach the tender age of 18 months, these cubs are ready for their first solo hunt. It's a monumental moment a rite of passage that marks their transition from dependent cub to independent hunter. They set out, armed with the skills their mother taught them, the instincts they were born with, and the lessons they learned from their play. 
The world of the wild is harsh and unforgiving, but it is also a place of growth and learning. A tiger cub's journey from birth to adulthood is a testament to the resilience and adaptability of these majestic creatures. In the face of adversity, a tiger cub learns to become a skilled hunter. Did you know that tigers are solitary creatures by nature? Let's delve into the world of these regal beasts, where solitude is not just a choice but a way of life. As lone hunters, tigers have honed their hunting techniques to an art form. A tiger's strategy is a blend of patience, silence, and precision. They are masters of stealth, their vibrant stripes serving as the perfect camouflage amidst the tall grasses and dense forests of their habitat. Tigers are apex predators, meaning they sit at the very top of the food chain. They have a varied palate, with their diet primarily consisting of large ungulates, such as deer and wild boar. However, they aren't above hunting smaller prey when the opportunity presents itself. Their powerful build allows them to take down prey that's even larger than themselves, illustrating their incredible strength and versatility. Their hunting strategy is meticulous, and it begins with a slow, calculated approach. They use their keen senses to track their prey, their eyesight sharp and their hearing acute. Once they've located their target, they move closer, their movements deliberate and silent. The final charge is swift and powerful often leaving their prey with no chance of escape. The kill, however, is not always guaranteed. Despite their stealth and strength, tigers are successful in only about one in every 10 to 20 hunts. This is a humbling reminder that even in the realm of the apex predator, survival is never a guarantee. Tigers don't hunt in packs like lions or wolves. They embody the spirit of the lone warrior. Each successful hunt is a testament to their individual strength and tenacity. This solitary lifestyle is ingrained in their very being, from the way they mark their territory to how they raise their young. In closing, the tiger's hunting prowess is much more than a display of strength and agility. It's a testament to their adaptability, their patience and their resilience. It's a testament to the solitary life they lead, a life that demands not just strength, but also a great deal of cunning and perseverance. A tiger's hunting prowess is a testament to its strength and agility. A tiger's roar is not just a sound, it's a language. Imagine if you could speak tiger. It's a fascinating thought, isn't it? But in reality, to truly understand the language of tigers, we must delve into their world, a world where the roar is more than just a loud noise. It's a complex form of communication, a language in its own right. Tigers, much like us, have a variety of ways to communicate. They have a wide range of vocalizations, each with its own specific message. From the infamous roar, which can be heard up to two miles away, to softer calls, purrs, and growls. These sounds are not random. They serve a purpose. They convey emotions, intentions, and even warnings. A mother tiger's soft chuff is a comforting sound to her cubs, while a deep growl can signal a warning to intruders. But communication isn't limited to sound. Tigers also use visual signals to interact. Have you ever noticed how a tiger's ears and tail seem to have a life of their own? The position of a tiger's ears or the movement of its tail can indicate its mood, whether it's relaxed or agitated. These silent signals provide crucial information to other tigers about what to expect. Then there's another layer to this language, the chemical signals. Tigers have a keen sense of smell, and they use it to communicate in ways we humans can only imagine. They leave scent marks in their territory, a kind of olfactory email, if you will, that sends messages about their presence and status to other tigers. In the wild, understanding these signals can be the difference between life and death. For a tiger, every vocalization, every gesture, every scent mark is a piece of a complex puzzle that forms their social structure. So the next time you hear a tiger roar, remember it's more than just a sound. It's a symphony of communication, an intricate dance of signals and messages. In the tiger's world, every roar tells a story. A tiger's life is a cycle of birth, growth, and survival. From the moment a cub opens its eyes to the world to the time it matures into a fierce, solitary hunter, every stage is a testament to nature's relentless struggle and breathtaking beauty. The journey starts with birth, a vulnerable time when the young cub's survival depends entirely on the mother's protection. 
As the cub grows, it learns the art of hunting and the ways of the wild, preparing for the day it will have to fend for itself. Adulthood brings its own challenges. Territorial disputes, scarcity of prey and human encroachment are constant threats. Yet every trial faced by the tiger plays a crucial role in maintaining the delicate balance of the ecosystem. Their existence controls the population of prey species, shaping the landscape in ways that benefit countless other species. The life of a tiger is a tale of resilience and survival against all odds.